One. Hi, my name is Catherine Barrera, and I'm going to go ahead and um, explain our Mod 130 review. And this is off Business Office Administration, and this is our Mod 130 once again, Business Basics. Oh, our first week was the Modern American Office. This was one of the example, one of our examples was Air Office Space, and this was 7,000. They were a um, jet business operation, and what executives would do would rent these offices while they're going from different destinations. This is an example of a traditional office space. And this is Office Online versus Office 360. We were able to learn a lot of these in, um, in our class. And what it is is just like a social um, media type of um, what's that? software where you're able to work with different um, students or um, colleagues in the same environment, working on separate charts, messaging, back and forth to go ahead and get their um, jobs This is another example for virtual office. Work from virtually anywhere. As you can see, this man is on top of a mountain somewhere with his online connection. I'm not sure what that was. Okay. An economic uh, situation analysis business profiling. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what this is. So this is an example of SWOT analysis. And if you're not familiar with SWOT analysis, it is for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And I went ahead and compared um, our physical books, what we get on a regular day basis, or um, where we can find in most bookstores, compared to iPads. Um, and we were lucky enough to have some students in our class have iPads and others with books. Um, so for strengths, I put their dependable, um, tangible, and visceral. Uh, that means they're physical, we can hold them, move the pages, know exactly what we're looking for, highlight notes, make put notes on the other sides as well. Um, for iPads, I put very high tech, and millions of books available for iPads. Um, for one book, um, oh, let me just go down here. Weaknesses, books are expensive per book as opposed to iPads where you can get multiple books for one price or they're not as expensive. Um, oh, excuse me, opportunities. Some books are only available online. Others are on hard copy, soft copy. Um, and all books per iPads are online, iTunes, things like that. Um, threats. Threats to books would be the high technology, for example, iPads. And then um, the iPads, um, some are not as popular as they would be for um, regular book lovers. Um, I also did um, 3P's analysis for product, price, place, and people for books and iPads. Um, books, um, they range, depending on what type of book they are, from 5 to $90, depending on the book. Um, and then for iPads, it's $200 and up. Um, place, you're able to purchase books at most bookstores or online. And for iPads, you can pretty much buy them nationwide. Um, people or anyone for both. And this is my presentation for the Internet of Things. Um, Internet of Things, let me go ahead and just get into a quick background. It's how our technology is evolving um, with today's products. Oh, that's the summary I wrote. Um, my interpretation of the Internet of Things is how everyday objects is used on a day-to-day -day basis. 
how everyday projects I've used on an everyday basis has evolved. Some many say that they're incredibly useful in everyday life and have evolved with our generation to help save not only money and time, but others may think that it's a waste of money and time. Um, this is one of the items that I was able to find um, online. It is a skillet that connects to your iPhone and it tells you when the item is ready to be flipped. I use, I cook on an everyday basis, so this is incredibly useful for me. Um, just because in some, not all the time, but I have burned products, items I've cut, not intentionally, but just because I forget. So I think this is such an amazing product to have, and I can see how it's evolved with our generation. This is a smart refrigerator. I was able to go refrigerator shopping not too long ago, and we were able to see that some refrigerators, like this one over here, have um, monitors to see exactly what's inside to get to be a little more, more efficient and not have to open it as much. And then there's um, refrigerators like this one, like Samsung. Um, they have special screens built into their refrigerators so that um, you can keep notes, connect to your Wi-Fi, um, keep calendar notes, any little, um, any little app you can get on your phone, you are able to connect to your refrigerator, so any type of dieting or um, exercise apps are able to be uploaded to them as well. Um, so I thought that was very useful, but for me, I don't think this would be very, very productive in my situation in my life right now, but it is great to know that we have that available. This is another option we did have, um, the security systems. Um, it has, before the security systems were more motion censored, they recently got updated to um, HD cameras and motion censored, uh, censored cameras. And on this one, you are able to see how you are able to connect from your security camera to your smartphone and move your cameras using different apps. This is my e my types of e-businesses. <clears throat> um, Kohl's is one of the big biggest retailers um, nationwide as of 2017. I was able to um, research on Kohl's and they're able to offer so much Kohl's cash. Um, my mother um, lets me know on a weekly basis how much Kohl's cash she is, but what she's really telling me is how much she spends at Kohl's. So for every $48 spend at Kohl's within a 30-day period, you get $10 Kohl's cash back. So with the Kohl's cash, it's cash you're able to only spend at Kohl's. And if you've ever been there before, they sell everything. So it's great to have that incentive to go back. That's one of their rewards. AMC also has a rewards program called Stubs. Um, their Stubs cards are worth $12. It's a one-time charge. And you can go once, every time you go to the AMC, you use your Stubs card while you pay. And they either give you discounts or free drinks, free popcorn, free candy, just depending on how often you go to the AMC, it varies. <clears throat> and Starbucks. Starbucks has a great incentive program. They do have um, stars for free drinks. Um, I think it depends on when you started your rewards program directly with Starbucks because um, my um, stars is 115. And I've had this app forever now. So um, they just say on their website that once you receive 167 stars, that's when you start to receive um, free um, and free drinks flash alerts, coupons, um, free dessert, beverage, or any type of um, bread or pastry is also free on there. Amazon is another, um, is another um, great incentive program to have. 
I have Amazon Prime, and once you have Amazon Prime, um, I had had it in college, you are able to get free shipping on books and most products. I have it just to have it because I order everything on Amazon. Um, it is a once a year charge of $70, and anything you order on Amazon Prime is shipped to you same day and free. Um, so for people that order on a regular basis, um, it's very much worth it. They don't offer any other um, coupons or free things like that, but I think that shipping makes up for makes up for the Amazon Prime. Another beauty, beauty incentive is the Walmart Beauty Box. Um, I'm sorry, it's a different type of e-business. <clears throat> the Walmart Beauty Box is a box of beauty pro products sold only at Walmart, and it's for $5 per season. So with $5, four times a, a year, you are able to receive a box of almost $90 of, oh, $90 of um, beauty products. Um, so depending on what season it is, it is a great incentive. Like I said, it's only $5. Oh. A business, okay, uh, forms of business ownership. Okay, so partnership, one of the biggest sole partnership organizations that I was able to find was IKEA. Um, they were originally, they were originally um, brought up by one sole proprietor, his name was Grace Jesse, um, in 1943, and then from there it just came into one of the biggest and largest furniture retailers since Um, here are the advantages and disadvantages of a sole proprietorship. Um, depending on sales and transferring documents, um, no corporate tax or payments, and then disadvantages with the risk of um, extending any liabilities. All responsibilities and any business decisions <coughs> are primarily with one sole proprietor. Partnership, one of the biggest um, companies with a partnership was built <laughs> was Google. Um, it was with, um, excuse me, created by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Um, they are one of the biggest known partnerships to ever be made and to get along and make Google as successful as they were able to. Um, greater um, borrowing capacity, so for loans, business startups, any type of investments like that, you would be able to get more. Disadvantages would be easy termination from one to another. Another corporation would be Chevron, multi-million dollar corporation that was built on partners. Once again, one of the biggest corporations. Advantages and disadvantages, multiple um, directors and multiple proprietors. So it's a lot of people working together as one is always successful. Disadva oh, sorry, go. Disadvantages, um, depending on one, t one, one another to make big decisions also, in some cases not the best. 